What's going on, Doc and Fam? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been enjoying the video, smash that like and subscribe button, and make sure you turn on video notifications so you don't miss the live stream action, because we have a lot of fun. Now, today's video is dedicated to all my free-to-play players, because I'm going to show you how to get yourselves an L.I. Tech Goku. Now, this is an event that only comes on the weekends. It comes on Saturday. So you can't grind it out the entire week like everything else that you do. However, when the event comes, you want to make sure you can take full advantage of it because it will take some time in order to get this card to the LR level, which I'll go over right now. So let's go into the event and click on info. Now, for these events, there's obviously this one for Goku and there's another one for Frieza. I recommend, well if you can do both at the same time, that's great, but I recommend if you're going to focus on one, to focus on the Goku one first, because then you can use that LR Goku on your team when you do the LR Frieza event. But we can save that for the LR Frieza video. Now, for this event, there are four stages. In stage one, you will get the drop reward of Super Saiyan Goku, the tech card you see right here. This is the unit that turns into LR Goku. And you get it the first time you clear the event. Now, I recommend moving on from stage one immediately because the drop rate on stage one is absolute garbage. You can run the event 15 to 20 times and still not get another drop uh, unit in order to help boost your super attack and open all your hidden paths. So, as soon as you finish stage one, just move on to stage two. Stage two, you get Warrior's Mach Super Saiyan Goku. Now, you will need 15 of these medals in order to dock and awaken your tech um, SSR Super Saiyan Goku that you just got from stage one. However, I even recommend just clearing stage two and then moving on to stage three because there's a lot more work to do and a lot more of a grind to do and you're not going to TUR that tech Goku until the super attack is 10 and all four hidden paths are open anyways. So you just move on from stage two to stage three. Now when you beat stage three, you get the Legends Mach Super Saiyan Goku and you're gonna need 777 of those medals in order to, <laughs> to basically dock in your TUR Goku into a legendary Goku. So it's a lot, a lot of medals. But we can use stage four instead. Now in stage four, the drop rate for this unit that you see here is much, much higher. You'll even get two at a time sometimes. So you'll be able to quickly boost that super attack of your of this um, this tech Super Saiyan Goku to 10 and open all four hidden paths just from doing stage four. And then as far as medals, the least amount I've gotten is three and the most I've gotten is 10. So every time you clear stage four, you're either gonna get medals that you need 177, I mean 777 of, or you're gonna get dupes of the tech Super Saiyan Goku. So it's a win-win, get to stage four as fast as you possibly can. Now, as I said, you have to use drop characters. So unfortunately, even if you're free to play, if you haven't been grinding those, those free drop characters from events or strikes, you're gonna have a really hard time doing these events. And guys, I have been using a Peppy Gals team in order to do this event, and I have just been tanking it non-stop. So, let me show you real quick. And this is actually the unit that we're going for. One of my friends happens to have it as their lead right now. So this is the unit that you will get if you grind this event out. All right guys, so I literally have three of my friends on my friends list put Rebri and leads and I am not getting them to show up in my box. So I'm gonna use this STR Khalifa because it'll work just as well. However, the optimal team that I would be using would be a Rebrand lead as my own, and then a Rebrand lead as my friend to take advantage of the Peppy Girls category, which is key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 77%. And these are the units that I'm using on my team right now. These are all drop units. We have Getting Butterflies Bulma. She's rainbow. When her event comes out, you can actually get her rainbowed very easily. And then this event was just around a little while ago where you had a chance to get Super Saiyan 2 STR Khalifa. And then you also had a chance to get 
Super Saiyan 2 Kale. So if you didn't grind them out, you definitely missed out because it was a very easy grind. And then we have B Pan, which of course you can get just from doing the B Pan event every single weekend. And then the last unit on my team came out a little while back as well, and it's urine. So hopefully you guys did grind out all these ladies so you could take advantage of the Peppy Girls category team. Um, some of my friends like to use a mono tech team. So if you have a lot of mono tech characters that you can lump together, that will work as well. But for me, to really maximize, you know, and take over the event as fast as possible, Peppy Gals has been it for me. And I'll show you guys just how well we get it done. And now, personally, when I do this, I like to go for key as much as possible, just to make sure that when I do my linking, I can always get a super attack off. And it would have been a lot easier with two Rebrian leads, but, you know, sometimes the game just doesn't want to cooperate, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Nice. Let's see if there's a big key in this question mark. Yes! It could have been a hit or miss. <laughs> It could have been zero key, or and just an item, or it could have been a lot of key. Nice! Another a lot of key! But dang, all high numbers, so we couldn't get those last two. Alright, so the reason why um, I say go either Mono Tech or Peppy Gals is because I have a lot of strength and tech characters on this Peppy Gals team, which block and attack really well against Super Fizz, so that's the main reason. And Bulma, if you have her, she blocks really well. She's like a blocking tank, so it's definitely worth having her on your team. So we'll get her super attack up. And then I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a super attack out of urine, but I don't think it will matter. Bulma should be able to take him out on her own. And mine always does like at least two super attacks, so that's pretty good too. Here we go, do another one. Oh no, she didn't do another one. That's okay, but you can see she blocks well. Now Rebrianne, on the other hand, she does a ton of damage, especially if you have her rainbowed. Like she'll just launch a massive attack and basically wipe them out in one shot. And honestly, I, I don't like Rebrianne, but if I had the orbs, I would rainbow her just for this event. And now STR Khalifa is great as well, because once you TUR her, she has the ability to dodge attacks, which always comes in handy. Especially when you get to stage three of this event, because he'll attack like one person twice in a row. Or actually kind of like he is right here. There's two attacks right now on Khalifa, so I'm just gonna leave her there. And I'm just gonna try to take a small key boost so that I can use all those green orbs for, um, for Bulma. Here we go. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Why did I do that? That's okay. We'll be okay. I'm sure he'll die after this event anyways. I should have went to the right and got all those orbs. All right, take him out. Nice. And then dodge. See? She dodges really well. She dodges just as good as the AGL, if not better. <laughs> and then Bulma for the win. And what's great about Bulma as well, guys, is she can replenish her health. So it's always good to have units on your team that replenish your health. All right. And then Rebrianne for the win. And then obviously having, you know, um, having Fizz attacking Int isn't that great, but I mean, we're not gonna get a chance to go to, to Kale anyways, because he'll either die here or the next attack. Yep, he's out. So now we're going to face him in his LR form, but it's still Super Fizz. Nice. Oh, this is great. You know what? We'll put mine first, because mine, I know... Actually, no, my friends is stronger. Okay, we'll put my friends first. Take advantage of all those orbs. And then, I guess we'll just use all these purples up. Uh, please dodge! Dang. But only 28,000 damage though. That's not too bad, especially on stage 4 of this LR event. So she's got some power, guys. Look at that critical hit. Wow. A bar and a quarter. B-Pan, not really doing much damage, but that's okay. She's just there for health. She re helps you replenish a lot of health during the event. And then, no dodge. Nope. 
But you see, so when V-Pan attacks, 30% of the damage dealt, you get back as health. So it's awesome. All right, we'll put rebrand in the front. Ah, we can't. Damn. So we can do this. All right. And then I really don't care about her super attack. I want to get off rebrands. There we go. So this whole time, we never even gone, I think, past 75% health. And I don't think he'll super attack again. Nope. And then Rebrand should be able to finish him off. No, wow, he survived. Well, he's definitely going down now. All right, so we're gonna do the linking right here. And then the rest doesn't matter because he's gonna die as soon as Khalifa launches her super attack. Nice! Damn, that was a nice critical hit. 533,000. And we got seven medals. So like I said, I'll get anywhere between three to ten medals when I do this, or you'll get one to two drop units. And just like that, guys, as you can see, I didn't need to use any items, and it wasn't really a stressful grind. I didn't have to move my, my units around too much during battle. Can literally just go in and just wipe the floor with Goku. And you know, you do this about a hundred times <laughs> and you and then you'll finally have LR Goku. <laughs> so I hope for all my free to play guys and girls that you're able to do this event. You've been grinding those those drop cards. Now maybe when an event comes around and you see a free to play unit, just grind it out, get super attack to 10, open all four hidden paths. You don't always have to put orbs into these units, but when events come around where you have to use only drop units, you want to make sure that you have as many as possible so you can build the best team. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, comment down below, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.